ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, everybody. Good Glad you've made the decision to the First round underway in this scheduled 10 round. think has the mental edge in a matchup like this a boxer versus brawler well it depends how it starts you know if the boxer can start and he can control landscape he can be on the outside getting his way getting a little cooperation where the ball is walking into his punches and then tied up on the inside he has the advantage super two punch combo by lewis A huge right hand from Mike Tyson. You see the accuracy now with that double jab up top. Lewis is able to land a nice clean left hand. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. The Brown Bomber's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Right to the belt line. Shot upstairs. Good job on the two punch combo by Lewis. Final 10 seconds of round number one. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. The Brown Bombers got nobody to blame but himself. I mean, he got hit much too much in that last round. Well, he was throwing his punches from too close. He's given up his height. You're throwing from that close, and you're going to get counted over it if your opponent wants to do that. Guess what? His opponent wanted to. He had the desire to do that, and he took advantage. Lewis is absorbing a hook. The Brown Bombers almost looking foolish that time he was so bad. Mike Tyson blocking that punch. The Brown Bombers' knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend, one of them is to block. He did it there well. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. He's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. The Brown Bombers putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. See, that's what you want from his left hand. That's exactly what it should be doing, that left hand by Lewis. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Mike Tyson lands the hook flush. The Brown Bomber's going to really regret when he hears the scorecards read because he lost that last round just based on defensive laziness. Well, you can always make comparisons, analogies. You watch a basketball game, you say, you know what, this team, Joe, is losing because they're not rebounding. They're not boxing out underneath the boards. Well, guess what? They weren't taught how to do that. You have to know how to do that. He's not going to start showing you defense if he doesn't know how. He does not know how. He has not been taught. One, gives one. The right hand scores well. Right to the body. Lewis is well off the mark that time. 
And Tyson with a block punch. And now committing to that midsection as the target with the combination punching. Nice strike after catching one by the Brown Bomber. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Good job staying away from the danger there. Did you see that? Oh, an explosive headshot there. He is down. One, two. Mike Tyson's back up on his feet. Let's see what he has now. He covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Lewis is landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Well off the mark by Mike Tyson. Round number four underway. Lewis is trailing on Teddy's scorecard in terms of rounds, two rounds to one. However, he has gotten to his opponent. There's a lot of hope ahead. Yeah, there's good news and bad news, though, so we got to be honest about this. The good news, yeah, he's hurt him, and he knows he could hurt him again. The bad news... The Brown Bombers rocked by that big shot. Lewis is unable to stand up to that combination. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I give him a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Mike Tyson's doing a nice job being comfortable on the outside. Missed the body shot. That's a hook right to the flank. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. Up top with a quick hook. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Lewis's combination punching is working well here. A snapping hook by the Brown Bomber. Lewis's punch is far off the target. Well, as that round comes to an end, it gives us a moment to kind of reflect on this overall fight. And Teddy, my thoughts are pretty clear cut. This is the kind of fight that just takes on a personality of its own. This is an all-out war. Yeah, this is kind of like watching a guy who's not on a budget. You know, he's spending with both hands. You know, when he goes home, he's going to have no money in his pockets. And when this fight is over, these guys are going to have nothing left in the gas tank, and it's probably not going to a decision. The Brown Bombers out there for another round after being knocked down in the last round. We know what happens in the 60 seconds with a fighter who was damaged, but what about those 60 seconds in the opposing corner, Teddy? You know, Joe, that's a great question. And I remember my mentor, Customato, 
when we were training fighters, he used to always say, look, you know you're a banger, and this guy happens to be a banger. Well, if you hit a guy clean, you know you hurt him. But he's not going to show you. He's going to act like a pro. He's going to con you. He's going to act like that didn't hurt him. But you have to remember, hey, it hurt him. So go after him like he showed it, even if he's not showing it. That is Boxing 101, a nice, crisp combination by Mike Tyson. Lewis is missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Good effective work with that straight right hand. The Brown Bombers coming through now beautifully. That's the combination punching he wants to put forth. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Little volume punching to the body there. Commits to the straight right. Not hitting his mark there, going upstairs. The Brown Bombers' defensive flaws in that last round were very, very costly. He's not doing a good enough job of simply protecting himself. No, I'm not sure that he knows how. Clever hook there by Lewis. Flush right hand to the head. Tyson's shown us that if he pulls this trigger, he's hitting that target. His accuracy is great. Well, that's part of his ability. You know, I mean, it's not just his hand speed and that he's technically good. You know, he's got a little bit of pop, but he knows when to throw. See, that's important, Joe. Know when to let the hands go. He knows exactly what time it is. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by the Brown Bomber. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. And now they're trading blows. Tyson's fighting real smart here on the outside. Well-targeted two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. Tyson's right hand scores well. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. He digs in with a left hand to the body. Fires right back at him. Shots with the combo downstairs. Accurate shot, straight right hand comes in. Lewis's failure to get away from his opponent's right hand is really the difference in this fight. It is. He continues to get hit with the same punch. Needs to slip to the left. Boy, another solid round for him. Teddy, this is one of the best displays of precision punching we've ever seen. And if precision had a relative, had a cousin, guess who it would be? It would be timing, because the timing has been perfect and has allowed him to be so precise. Three punches land in succession by Lewis. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by the Brown Bomber. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Lewis. Blocks a shot and pulls the trigger. Lewis is the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Oh, what an upper. And yet another big shot comes in. And he goes down again. Will he get up from this? One, two, three, four.
Lewis is going to have to pull himself together here. Now he beat the count, but still a lot of work to do. Yeah, a lot of work because he doesn't have the benefit of his legs. Can't move around there wobbly right now. So what he's got to do is grab on a little bit and walk. Walk to the ropes, kill some time, make the referee come in between you and break you. Lance flush with the two-punch combo by Lewis. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by the Brown Bomber. Nice defense, good block by Mike Tyson. The Brown Bomber's got to figure out a way to do something different here. I mean, I know he's committed to being a counterpuncher, but right now he's giving rounds away. Yeah, he is because he's waiting for things to happen that are not happening. You know, he's, he's laying back, he's waiting for the guy to walk in. See, to be a good counterpuncher, an effective counterpuncher, the guy has to come close to you, but his opponent's staying at a distance. He's not giving him anything to counter. You know, it's so obvious here, but it needs to be said. I don't know how his opponent can continue on. He's dominating this fight through seven rounds in your scorecard. Well, that's a good point, Joe. You know, as a cornerman, as a trainer, your first job is prepare your fighter, give him a good game plan, get him in shape. But always the priority, your first responsibility, look out for the safety of fighter. Right now, they have to be thinking about stopping him. Oh, he got hit, but so did his opponent. Fires right back. Mike Tyson digs deep with a big uppercut. Zones in on that overhand right. The Brown Bombers way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Up top with the right hand. The halfway point of round number eight. Tyson so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. Good combination punching out of him here. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like a musical, except right now, I don't think his opponent likes the tone of it. Targeting a left hand. Big shot there. How is this going to go on? Once again, he hits the deck. Well, he's getting practice at it, so he might figure it out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lewis's trainer is thrilled with this. He gets up off the canvas. Now he wants to see how he'll react. A solid true uppercut by the Brown Bomber. He's committing to the work downstairs. He puts forth a right hand. And that's the end of round eight. Lewis's cut man is going to earn his pay for sure. That is a bad gash. And I'm wondering what he's using in there. You know, you can only use certain things. Avertine, adrenaline, and thrombus. I'm wondering if he's using legal things right now because that's the kind of cut that tempts you to use crazy glue. He got all into that one. That was wow! Unbelievable! Just the barrage continues. He's knocked down again. But his desired heart is just as strong as it was before. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it's all over. The Brown Bombers smashed, and he can't get up. Unable to beat the count. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of knockouts, I don't know why we're always so shocked, but we just are. You'd think we'd learn by now that anything can happen. Here's a fight 
that is clearly heading to a decision, and just like that, it's over by knockout. Yeah, you need to go to sleep, take a sleeping pill, or do that. Stick your chin out, bang. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a...